copying courses from MyOpenMath. We'll begin by logging into MyOpenMath. Enter your login credentials. And on the left here, you should see your current list of courses. At the bottom, add a new course. And here we can start with a number of different options. Copy from a, my or a colleague's course. If you are part of the Harper group, you can select my group's courses. If you're not, then you can just type in the course ID. You may email you the course coordinator to to get a current ID. But I'm going to go ahead and copy from my group's courses. And in this list, you should see my name, Jonathan Meshes, and you can copy Math 101, Spring 23. We hit Continue. Everything here should be standard, but this is a good place where you can change the course name if you want to label yours as something different. This only shows up in My Open Math, so this is not something the students will see. And you can also adjust any copy options that you like. Now, this is a good place if your course is set up different than mine to make a couple of changes. One of the things that I like to change is these default start times for assignments. I like new assignments to become available at 8 a.m. at the beginning of the day, and the default due date the time on the due date to be the end of the day, 11.59 p.m. But you can also adjust that if you want things to be due, for example, right before your class starts and available right when your, when your class starts or something like that. This is also where we can adjust late passes. So let me briefly describe late passes in my open math. A late pass is a way that a student can extend the due date on an assignment without in the instructor's approval. If you don't want to use late passes, just set this number of auto late passes to zero and remove any language from it uh, regarding late passes from your syllabus. I like to give my students 10 late passes, and I set each late pass to be a 24-hour extension. So that means that on 10 separate assignments, a student can get a one-day extension or they can get up to 10 days extension on a single assignment. These they spend as they see fit. I also give extensions to students separately for things like uh, missing class due to a sporting event or something like that. When we're finished with this, when we have everything the way that we want, after everything is set up the way that we like, we hit submit and our course is created. We get a course ID, but we never really need to worry about that unless somebody else is going to copy our course. And we can just hit enter the course. So the course starts off with a little orientation module and each of the four units. And within the four units, we have homework assignments, project, practice test, and an online test. For my in-person classes, I will not be making use of the online tests. I will be giving my exams in, in person on paper, but I will be using the online homework. The projects are up to your own discretion. The orientation, again, this is more designed for an online class. So a lot of the stuff uh, in this orientation module, I think, is really good for an online class and may be beneficial for a blended, but for an in-person class may be redundant with the first day introduction. So now we have our, our course set up. If you copied from my course, the due dates will already be set from for the current semester that you see this in. You can also adjust the due dates for all of your assignments. One of the ways to do that is to hit time shift. And with time shift, what you can do is set the one assignment, you change its due date, and it will adjust everything based on that. So it's a good way to, to switch to a new semester. Um, you can also hit mass change and hit assignment. Oops. Uh, hit For mass change, hit dates, and you can see every assignment and their due dates, and you can adjust things on here as needed. The way that I have my homework structured and the way that a lot of online classes are structured is after a, a, a week of, of classes, for example, homeworks 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, and 1, 4, 
um, are assigned in week one and I have them due at the beginning of week two. If you want to stagger your homework, again, you can adjust your due dates uh, individually. Now let's look at how we go about importing homework from MyOpenMath into Blackboard. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, in a new tab, I'm going to open up Blackboard. And I'm going to go to my course. And what I'm going to do is down at on the left, under Packages and Utilities, I'm going to hit Import Package. So this brings up this Import Package screen, and this doesn't look like a button, but the Import Package, if you hover over, is a button. Okay, now we're going to go back to My Open Math, and we're going to say, all right, we're going to export this into Blackboard. So in your My Open Math course, you click on Course Items and hit Export. And you can either export the entire course or you can select individual items. I like to select individual items. So I'm going to import all of the homework assignments from Units 1, Unit 2, Unit 3, and Unit 4, but I'm not going to use the orientation stuff for my in-person class. So you can either select the individual homework assignments or you can just click on Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 3, and Unit 4. And I'm also going to grab the practice final exam and the final review but I may change those or I may give them the paper copy instead. But this way everything will be there. Okay. Your LMS, the learning management system that we use is Blackboard, so change that to Blackboard. And then we can hit download Blackboard cartridge and that's gonna download probably to my download folder. And it looks like a BB export followed by a bunch of numbers and then .zip. We don't need to worry about that file. Blackboard will de deal with that. What you do wanna do is hit this show course level key slash secret. Okay, this will give me a, a key and a secret that I'm going to copy and paste when I'm in Blackboard. So now I'm in Blackboard in this import package, I'm going to browse local files and I'm going to hit downloads. And at the top here, the most recent thing should be that BB export. So hit open on that. And under select course materials, I hit select all so that everything that I chose to export over will be imported and we hit submit. Okay, this says this action has been queued and email was sent when the process is complete, but typically that process should be very quick. So if I really load the page, now I see this Math 101 Spring 2023, the exact name of my, my open math course will be a folder now and everything that I decide to import will be in there and all of them will say invalid link. So we have to fix those links. The way to do that is to hit under packages and utilities, manage LTI links. Okay, so right now this says everything is broken. I can go to any one of them and click the arrow next to homework 1.1, hit edit credentials. And what I'm gonna do is tool provider key. I'm gonna go back to my open math I'm going to take the key and copy it and paste it here in Blackboard. And then the tool provider secret, I go back and do the same thing with the secret. Copy it and paste it here. And then click this box, apply these credentials to all links. So I only have to do this once and now everything should be working. Okay. So now when I create my course, I'm going to have individual week folders. So let's just start with a, a week one folder. In this week one folder, I want to have sections 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, and 1, 4. So I can go to Math 101 Spring 2023, Unit 1, and I'm going to move these homework assignments into that week one folder. One at a time. Okay, so now if I go back to learning modules, week one, I can see all of the homework. Something that you have to do one time, not for every assignment, but one time, is you have to click on one of these homework assignments. So I'm going to click on homework 
and it's going to prompt me for my credentials for my open map. So I'm going to enter in my username and password and hit sign in. And then the, here, be very careful, associate this learning management course with my existing course. Don't create a copy. We already created the, the shell in my open map. So I associate the LMS with my first course and I should be good to go now. And we can start looking at the assignment, right? You can see all the questions. Okay. And then the students, when they go to log in, will never see any of this. They don't have to do any setup for my open math. Be this is now built into Blackboard. So when they go into Blackboard, so if I look at the student preview mode, when the students go into Blackboard, when they go into learning modules and they look at week one, they can click on this homework and they'll jump right into it. Um, they never have another login. And that's it for bringing your homework from MyOpenMath into Blackboard.